Can you have a Brazilian butt lift at the same time as an abdominoplasty? The answer to that is yes, but let me explain the pros and cons of doing them at the same time versus separating the procedures. So a Brazilian butt lift involves removing unwanted fat and adding it to the butt. Basically, we subtract fat from unwanted areas, which is always the waist. So we always wanna get fat out of the love handles and the flanks to narrow the waist as much as we can. Oftentimes, we also will get extra fat from the back, the abdomen, the thighs, wherever we need to get the fat to improve the overall contour of your body. Then the fat is processed and re-injected or grafted to the deficient areas of your butt. In general, we're always trying to narrow the waist as much as we can and then accentuate the hips, which is the most prominent portion of the buttock, to optimize your waist to hip ratio. So that is what a Brazilian butt lift is. It's removing fat with liposuction from unwanted areas and adding it where it's deficient or needed. Now, a tummy tuck involves an abdominal incision, tightening of the muscle wall, tightening the abdominal skin. And when you recover from a tummy tuck, you have to sit on your butt. When you're recovering from a tummy tuck, you cannot lay on your stomach at all. So the downside doing a Brazilian butt lift at the same time as a tummy tuck is you have to sit and lay on your butt right away. The advantage of doing it at the same time as a tummy tuck is it's one surgery and most tummy tucks need a bunch of liposuction anyways, so we can use that fat at the same time. So I'm a big proponent of doing Brazilian butt lifts at the same time as a tummy tuck because most tummy tuck patients are already having liposuction of their flanks, back, and abdomen. I have the fat there. If someone wants it in their butt, I don't want to waste it. So it makes sense to put it in their butt at the same time as a tummy tuck. Then while they're recovering from a tummy tuck, yes, they have to sit on their butt and lay on their butt, but I find that as long as they're wearing the compression garments we put them in that are designed to, su to support the butt, it's okay. And as long as they sit and sleep on soft surfaces, it's okay. I'll show you a bunch of pictures of patients who've had Brazilian butt lifts at the same time as a tummy tuck, and their butts look great. The another advantage is that, again, it's one surgery, one recovery. And I'll also put it to you this way. If you need more fat put in your butt, if you really want a big butt and that is your goal, we can always go back and add more fat to your butt. And in general, more fat lives every time we graft fat to an area. So let's say that your butt starts off as an apartment building that can house 100 tenants, okay? Think of it that way. We put fat in there, the apartment buildings get bigger. So next time your butt can accept and graft, you know, accept fat from more areas. In other words, it can accept more fat. So the amount of fat we can transfer at subsequent visits to the operating room is even greater. So the way I see it, consolidate the recovery with your tummy tuck. We're gonna do liposuction anyways most of the time. So let's use that fat and put it in your butt where you need it. Even if the take rate is a few percent lower than it would be if you separated the procedures, for most people, it's worth accepting that to avoid a second procedure. And if you still want more fat added to your butt, where you certainly had some improvement from the first procedure, so it gets even easier at a second surgery to add even more fat. So it becomes two surgeries anyways, but at least we tried to do it all in one surgery and we got your butt further towards your goal with that first surgery. So I'm a big proponent of doing tummy tucks along with a Brazilian butt lift. Um, in addition to the one, one surgery, one recovery, it is also a little bit more cost effective because if I already am doing the liposuction and you're already asleep, and I have the fat ready to go, it doesn't take that much extra time to put the fat in your butt. What takes the longest in a Brazilian butt lift, what takes the most time is the liposuction part and the getting you in and out of the operating room, sort of the takeoff and the landing part. Once you're already asleep and once I already have fat from liposuction, it does not add much time to put the fat into your butt. So it makes sense if you're having liposuction at the time of a tummy tuck 
to have some fat added to your butt if it's something you want to do. Because I think that purposefully separating the two procedures out is oftentimes not worth the small benefit. To learn more, check out our website where you can upload your photos and concerns as a virtual consult. You can also check out our price estimator to get pricing information for all the various procedures we offer. And finally, if you'd like to have your questions answered on a future podcast or Q&A video session like this, please leave a message on our SpeakPipe. You can go to our blog page and our SpeakPipe is located there. Thanks for listening.